Me? You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. It's your boy, Barry Pace here. And in this video, you're about to watch 20 minutes of video of, wait, what? 20 minutes of me reacting to a scary story. No! But before y'all, happy Halloween to everyone who's going trick-or-treating, going to parties. Make sure, now you got my message. Let's go with the intro. What is up, YouTube? It is, wait. <laughs> I forgot to put my mic on. So anyways, so it's that time of the year. It's Halloween. And what better way is to do a Halloween video? How the story went. So basically, you know, it's about 12 a.m. Or I don't even know what time is it. What time is it even? And um, I was about to go to sleep. I saw this video. Now, I didn't see it fully. And it was kind of scary. So I was like, when I react to it. But anyways, I'm not going to waste time. We're going to react to this um, scary Halloween video. And like usual, like and subscribe for more videos. It's like, I feel like I'm a Corey Kenshin vibe, you know? Corey Kenshin, please upload. But anyways, let's not talk too much. And let's get with the video. And you know, got my headphones back again. It's been us like two months now. We're going to put it on top right here. And let's react to this scary animation. And I don't even know what it's called. Anyways. In three, two, one, you're gonna react to this scary video with me. All right, it's on. So the last time I recorded a video, I realized that this mic was not on. So I had no audio in it. It sucks. Let's not waste time. Let's go back to reacting the video and let's get started. In three, two, one. Two years ago, me and my best friend, V, were hanging out on Halloween night. Okay. We were roommates living in a small house, and both of us were on our last year of college. Obviously, we were too old to do any of the normal Halloween things, but Not we still lie, wanted I to do, do the something. Same shit. None of our more creative ideas really sounded good, and we ended up deciding on just making cookies and watching a scary movie. It was only eight, so most of the grocery stores... But does anyone go to trick or treat this year? I can because I'm too old. I got in my car and drove down to the store to pick up some cookies to bake, along with frosting and some Halloween themed sprinkles. Not bad. As I was in the what aisle, the fuck? I noticed a man staring at me from the other end. I didn't look at him directly. Don't look at I him. Could see in the corner of my eye. What is this? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I just realized something. I'm wearing the same hood right now. What the fuck? Huh? Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. There we go. Let's go back. I, that he was looking at me for the whole time I was in the aisle. Dude, you're staring at me real quick. It was a holiday. The whole store was mostly empty. So seeing this guy being creepy like that was really unnerving. Bro, run! I quickly got what I needed and walked away, checking out and getting in my car. By the time I was out of the parking lot and onto the main road, I'd already forgotten about the man in the store. As I drove, there were very few cars out. I guess most people had already checked in for the night. I pulled into my street and parked on the driveway. But and let me guess, he followed you. But as I got out with the groceries, a car passed by the house. Did I guess it right? They were going really slow, like maybe five miles I swear, per I'm going to guess it right. Their windows were tinted, so I couldn't see who was inside or what they were doing. But once they got past my driveway, they sped up and drove off, making it clear that they were purposefully going slow. Yeah, so um, a little warning. If you ever see someone following you, the first tip, don't go to your house. Just go to a nearby gas station or a, a nearby police station to avoid like some dangerous shit happening. So be safe. Me by my house. It made me feel a little uncomfortable. I told V about it when I got inside, but he didn't seem to think much of it. We put the cookies in the oven and sat in the kitchen while they baked, talking about which movie we were going to watch, until the doorbell Don't watch rang. Annabelle. We gave each other confused looks. Then V got up and went to the door. I, know, I, swear I watched from the kitchen the same as he looked in the peephole for a second, then opened the door just a few inches. I heard V say something, then a few seconds passed before he closed the door and locked it. 
He turned around, looking even more confused than before, and walked back to the kitchen. I asked who it was and what they wanted. V said it was some guy, but when he asked what he needed, the guy didn't say anything. Bro, so I knew it. Apparently, he was wearing a cheap plastic mask, but from the other features, <laughs> a cheap plastic mask him, is crazy. It kind of sounded like the man I'd seen at the store. Oh. I didn't know if it was just I, being I, paranoid. I, I, I literally predicted in the beginning. I got up and went to see for myself, walking quietly up to the door and looking out the peephole. No one was there anymore. But as wait, I stayed what if he's looked, a ghost? I saw a car parked across the street, the same one that passed by earlier now sitting right in front of our house. Its lights were off and didn't seem to be running. I told V, explaining everything and getting him to come look at the car, but then there was a thud that echoed through the house. Dog, we the stopped fuck? and listened, hearing it again, coming from the basement. I walked over and opened the basement door, looking down the staircase as the thuds got louder until it went quiet. There yeah, was I don't know about that one. Before there was the faint sound of footsteps shuffling through the basement. I shut the door softly without making any noise, and V was already calling the police. The basement door didn't have a lock on it, oh, so I was just pressing cooked. my body against it and hoping for the best. The muffled footsteps went across the basement and to the bottom of the stairs, where they stopped. As I listened, the suspense made me more and more scared. V grabbed my shoulder and told me to come with him as he ran to the front and out of the house. We quickly got in my car and drove a few streets down, then waited for the police to arrive. When they did, nobody was inside. But the basement door was wide open, and in the basement were shoe prints coming from the window well that had been broken open. The car was gone, so the man had of course driven away, but it Obviously. seemed like he left as soon as he noticed we weren't in the house anymore, because he didn't take anything. Whoever that guy was had followed me from the store, stalked us, and then broke in. I literally told you in the beginning, like, what's gonna happen, he's gonna come to your house, like, yeah, that's how it is. We don't know why he did any of it, but I just hope that I never have to find out. That was the first one. Into the next one. The second one. Let's get started. It was 2018, and I was still in middle school at the time. Me and my friend group were really excited for Halloween. Mostly because Always we knew in the this would probably be our last year trick-or-treating, since we were getting too old for it. Oh, it's the same thing. Now, yeah, Halloween only is had a half day, yeah, I already heard the same story really last time. Nice, but we didn't meet up until 5. By then, the sun was starting to set, which got us all more in the mood to go running around and get as much candy as possible. There were three of us, all just random masks we'd found a couple days before. It was pretty low effort but still enough to pass as trick-or-treaters. Where are they? Anyway, we started by meeting at my house, then moved oh. our way through the neighborhood. Our goal was to get to the other side of the neighborhood, where there were custom houses on a street where all the rich people lived. It was separated from the rest of the houses and quite the walk, but we knew that they'd have to be handing out full-sized candy. Full-sized candy, bro, you get a small-ass candy, that's it. We stopped by most of the houses Not on the like way there, taking us bar. almost two hours before we got to the big Yo, houses. Yo, grown-ass dude doing trick or treat is crazy. most of the other kids had gone home, and the sidewalks were mostly empty. It was late, since we'd started a bit behind, so we had to jog to every house just so we could get okay. through them all run, the time. Run, 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 run. By the time we finished, the last few houses had all their lights off, and no more people were answering their doors. It was just past 9 p.m., so it was really dark out and really late. We all agreed it was time to go and head back to my house so we could watch some movies and eat some of the candy. But just as we began walking down the street, we saw a man walking toward us. It was way too dark to see what he looked like but it was definitely an adult wearing a hood covering his face and he was alone. 
It was just us and him on the road. We all felt a little weird that someone would be walking around like that on a holiday where kids were running around, so we moved over to the other side of the road. As we passed the man, he watched us from the other side. He God tried damn. to hide it, but it was pretty obvious he was looking right at us. This was really weird behavior, and none of us wanted to stick around, but we were all exhausted from having to run from house to house over the past couple hours, so we opted for just walking quickly and checking behind us to make sure we weren't Holy being shit, followed. Holy shit, video. After a few minutes, we felt like we'd put a good distance between us, but out of nowhere, my friend in front stopped abruptly, causing me to bump into him and stumble back. I jokingly called him a few <laughs> choice words, but when I looked up, I immediately went quiet. There was a hooded man standing at the side of one of the houses ahead, hiding between the trees in the woods just outside of the reach of the streetlights. What's off with this dude? All we could see was his figure, but from the looks of it, it looks like he's about the to... same man we just It looks seen. like about to poop his pants. <laughs> he was just standing there, as if he was waiting for us to get closer. We were all whispering to each other as we stood in the road and tried to decide what to do, but there wasn't much to decide on. There was only one way out, which was the way we were heading, so we kept walking, keeping our eyes on the man. As we got closer and closer, just about to pass him, he started quickly walking out of the woods and toward us. All of us started running, making a yeah, break through the trees on the other side of the road. We stayed together, running into the woods in the direction that we hoped would lead to oh. the other neighborhood. But the further in we got, the darker and more difficult to navigate it became, especially while running at full speed. After a minute or so, we realized the man had either lost us or stopped following. We took a moment to collect ourselves, leaning up against a tree. Only a minute passed. Before yo, stop! We heard you, you better, in the leaf, yo, better keep running, bro. Woods nearby. Man doesn't, man doesn't give up. We silenced our breathing as best we could and listened as they slowly moved through the dark, eventually fading out. We waited a bit to make sure it was safe then hurried out of the woods and made it back to my house. None of us had the nerve to call the cops, but we didn't see any other kids outside on our way back, so hopefully they'd already gotten home. We don't know what that man was trying to do, but chasing us into the woods and continuing to try to find us only makes it more terrifying. We stopped going out for Halloween after that, but I still get chills thinking about that night. And that is the video or animation. That was the second animation video we watched. Now, I wish I could keep going, but... Alright, we're just going to end it off. So, that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to end it off. I know I was, I was going to continue to like 24 minutes of the video, but here's the problem with this channel. So... It's whatever I post videos on YouTube. Now, let me tell you guys a story. So, ever since I stopped posting on my YouTube, whatever each video I make and I post to them, I barely get any views on YouTube. If you go to my YouTube video list, you see that some of my videos get like 24 views, 30 views, and all that kind of stuff. So, there, I have been thinking a, w a little while now, and this might be a decision that it might impact my YouTube career and it's basically here's the thing I might have to start a new channel and post new content or at the same time I would have to do my own things on my new channel because if this channel started continually dying and dying and there's literally nothing I can do I'm gonna go to go to sleep but um, the next day, I'm going to edit the video. And when I post the video, if it gets around 12 views to 20 views by like two weeks or a week, then that's when I'm going to call my quits on this channel. And don't worry, I'm not quitting YouTube. If it doesn't work, then I'll be moving on to a new channel that I would announce very soon. So, yeah, guys. But anyways, um, that's it for the video. Um,
if you guys really enjoyed this video make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and please support this video right here because i don't want to quit youtube because youtube has been a passion for me for a very long time and i want to continue doing youtube in the future but with college and work and all that kind of activities going on with my life outside of youtube there's not really a point on doing all that kind of stuff so let's just see there so anyways stay safe y'all happy halloween and i'll see you guys next time peace out and have a good day